know, in preparation for my homily every week, I read some commentaries about the scripture and I read some other people's homilies. Do you know, something kept coming back to me over and over again in this scripture passage, which I seem to overlook so many times. And I've really never seen anybody comment a whole lot about it. But it seemed like this time, every time I read something, it talked about this, about the boy in the scripture. You know, that the boy in the scripture was willing to give to Jesus what little he had. You know, that sometimes we, we focus on those that say we don't have enough. We focus even on Andrew, who points out the boy. But is the boy that gives the five barley loaves and the two fish to Jesus to bless, and then gives it, Jesus gives it to all those who are there, those that are in a grassy spot. Remember Jesus said just a little bit ago, they are like sheep without a shepherd, you know, that the grass is supposed to represent them being sheep there, and he is feeding his sheep. But that boy gave what he could, and Jesus did an incredible thing with, with it. Not only fed everyone that was there, but also had leftovers, doing the little bit that we can. Sometimes we say to ourselves, well, I'm not going to be able to end poverty, so we do nothing. I'm not going to end world hunger, so we do nothing. No, I'm not going to be able to clothe all the people who aren't able to afford clothing, so we do nothing, in contrast to the boy in the scripture today. The Lord needs us to be generous, just as this boy is generous, just as Jesus wants to feed the hungry in today's world, whether it is basic hunger for food, or hunger for shelter, for a home, for friendship, for community, for, an ex for acceptance, or the deeper spiritual need for God. The gospel teaches us never to underestimate the significance of even the tiniest of efforts from the smallest of people. We need to be generous with the resources that God has, the resources that we have at our own disposal whether it be resources of money or the resource of time or the resource of talent or some other type of resource that we have. We need to do our little part, no matter how young or how old we are, no matter how much we have or how much we do not have. We need to be like this young boy in today's scripture.